One of the things that I work on with my editing students is the proper way to take charge of the storytelling and to take charge of their careers. So I think that there's a lot to be said for if you're going to be an editor, just edit. Practice on whatever footage you can. Um, I think there's also a lot of um, elements of being a good editor about figuring out how to um, uh, analyze films that you respond to as editors. Um, and that's one thing that I think we're particularly good at at USC. Um, but the other aspect has to do with, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, um, expanding the circle of people who you work with and who know will be able to trust you. Uh, so for people who are not at film school, it will require moving into a community and finding either through 48-hour film festivals or through um, uh, uh, just generating projects themselves um, or going to a local TV station and seeing what's possible there uh, and reading up on everything that might be happening in their area. Um, the more work that you do with other people, the better you'll be at being a positive creative force in the editing room. Uh, and the more work that you do in front of an editing station like Avid is um, uh, the more you'll be able to solve problems before they become problems. And the, the ability to look down the line and say, hey, you know, we should try and figure out a different way of telling this story because I've been there before. While being flexible enough to know, even if you've been there before, you might not know everything. So uh, those are the kinds of things that I would recommend that people do in order to build a huge creative and collaborative, as well as a technical base for them to go out and be more successful. Mm -hmm.